Hi, my name is Greg, and I'm the pastor here at FBC Medford. Today is Friday, December 29th, 2023. Welcome to today's FBC eConnect. The Three Little Pigs. I'm sure you remember the tale. Each of them was building a house in an attempt to avoid the dangers of the big bad wolf. The first pig builds a house of straw, low cost, low labor, and straw has some decent insulating properties. However, in the face of the big bad wolf, well, he easily blew the house down. The second pig builds a house of sticks. This requires more labor and more cost than straw, of course. And the result is a house that is more sturdy. However, once again, the big bad wolf easily blows down the house made of sticks. The third pig, pig I should say, at great cost and effort, builds a house made of bricks. The pig certainly missed out on many fun activities the other two pigs enjoyed because they had extra time and money. However, when the big bad wolf showed up, he was not able to blow down the brick house. The Bible tells us that each of us in Christ is building a house too. The foundation, of course, is Jesus. That's what 1 Corinthians 3.11 tells us. But what we build on that foundation depends on how we live our lives in Jesus. Are we going to live for ourselves? Or are we going to live a life of worship to our Savior? 1 Corinthians 3, 12 and 13 says, Now if anyone builds on the foundation of Jesus with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each one's work will become manifest for the day will disclose it because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. Our life is a house. When our life is lived with ourselves, our priorities, our own agendas as the focus, we build a life with combustible material. However, when our life is lived with Jesus, His priorities and His agenda as the focus, we build with materials that last forever. What kind of house do you want to build? I look forward to seeing you at our worship service this Sunday, this week during our time in the Word. We will look at 1 Corinthians 3, 10-15. I'll see you then.